hello guys welcome back to pista charles tv in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your homemade pap in nigeria we also call it akamu or ogi so i'm going to be telling you guys what and what i used to make this this conscious pap um or akamu or ogi anyone you want to call it so first time mothers, if you are looking for a food to give your babies from six months, you can also give them this. This is a Nigerian food that we normally give our baby. So stay tuned. So these are the ingredients I used to make the pap for this video. So I used yellow corn, white corn, your guinea corn or sorghum, your soya beans and millet. Okay, so first of all, you first of all soak your millet, white corn, soya beans, um, the yellow corn, and the guinea corn together. The four of them, you soak them together first. You soak them together first. You will not put the soya beans. So you first of all soak these four together first for three days. Then you put your soya beans on the last day. Like the day before you grind it, this is when you soak the soya beans. Then I added this, this ingredient to spice up the pap to give it more taste. So your coconut, I added coconut, tiger nut, date, and what's the coconut, tiger nut, and date. That's what I added. So these are all I'm going to use for this pap. So I soaked the, as I told you, I soaked the white corn, the yellow corn, the guinea corn and the millets first look at them i put them in one bowl and i soaked them for the first day then i added water I added water after adding water i cut it add water to the brim then i covered it to wait for 24 hours that's the next day by this time you will open it so when i opened it look at it that's already started fermenting that's fermenting so i had to wash it i had to drain that first water so it's not get it's not start smelling i have to drain the water to add new one again so that it's not be it's not be too smelly you get you know when something starts fermenting it's bring out this foul smell so i added new water and i covered it for the second day Second day it has fermented, I opened it, then I had to drain the water again to add new water. To add new water. Then I covered it. After adding water, I covered it. Okay, okay so this is the third day. I couldn't get when I opened uh, the corn. So I've already washed the corn before adding the soya beans. You no, know, I told you, you add your soya beans a day before you regrind it. So I've added the soya beans. It's for me to soak it. So this is the day I'm going to grind it. Look at it. It's that's fermented enough and that's softened enough. So I have to wash it, wash it, put it in um a rubber for me to go to the commercial um place to grind it. You can also use a blender, but this corn is much. So I can't use my blender. If not, it's going to get my blender spoiled. So I had to go use a commercial grinder at the market. So that's where I went to. So this is the day too. I added those of my ingredients, my corn, the tiger nuts, and the, the date. So this is also the day. I added it before I went to grind the corn and everything. So that's watch. Okay, so I'm back from grinding the corn and every so this is the result. So it's time to wash out the starch from the corn. So this is what you're going to need: a chiffon cloth. This, I'm using a chiffon cloth because oh, you can actually use a pap bag. 
go to the market and ask for pop bag they will give it to you so i use this chiffon clothes i'm going to use need this soap so i can tie it around the rubber look at it i tied it around the rubber so it can be firm i don't want to be pouring the the grinded um corn and it, the clothes will be entering inside so this is me pouring the grinded corn I'm, I'm, i want to wash the starch away from this corn because that is the starch is the, the water coming out from this grinded this blended corn is actually the, the starch and which is the pap which is the ogi so i'll be doing my hand like rolling it so the water making it free so the water can the starch water can pass through the pores of the net. So you're going to be doing this. Be doing this. You'll be adding. You can see the water has reduced. So you need to add small water. You don't need plenty of water. Or you don't need plenty of water. So it will not be flooded. So you'll be washing it. Adding small, small water till it gets like this. You can see that there's the thing is no more milky. It's not dry. You can see that there's no more starch in this particular um corn in this particular blended corn there's no more starch it's looking dried so this when you know that it's ready like you don't need to continue washing it so you remove it look at this shaft this is for throw away so you need to repeat this is what you're going to be repeating till you finish washing all the blended corn so you are going to repeat this process over and over again till the end okay so i'm done washing the the corn shafts look at it the empty rubber so this is the starch i'm going to leave it to stay overnight so the starch itself can settle down and i can remove the water up and tie the remaining starch so this is me i covered it look at it that stayed overnight the starch is down is down so i'm going to look at this clear water i'm going to remove this clear water and tie it in a sack bag in my case i'm going to be using pillowcase because i don't have a sack bag you can use anything so far your starch cannot come out from that bag or pillowcase or anything you're going to use so watch the process wow we are almost we are done already not almost done because the water is already out so i have the water look at it now the clean water is already out from the pillowcase that i used so it's for me now to open the bag bring out my pap because the pap now is inside this pillowcase bring it out and put it in a rubber and make my pop so enjoy this video to the end if you love this video give this video a thumbs up if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you'll be the first one to get notified whenever i post a new video if you want a video of how to make your pop for drinking then tell me in the comment section i will do a video of that thank you for watching love you bye Peace. Mwah.